In our previous video, we had it so that the alien could come all the way down to this particular point and then go on up here. Let me rewrite. But every time that the alien comes down past there, we want to add a score. And every time that the alien hits the actual ship, we want to lose a life. And then once all three lives have lost, we want scoring to stop, we want lives to be, um, say, game over, and we want a game over screen come up here with the score. So this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to start with the score and then move to the lives though. So let's define a scoring program so we or function. So scoring and it needs of course to be in the brackets and there we go. So what are we going to do? Well we're going to grab the global score which we already have set up. So we're going to grab that into this function and we're going to say well if lives is greater than zero. Now what this does is it is going to run this program if lives is greater than zero. So then score equals score plus one and we're going to um, update the score label. So we're going to go score label dot configure that's actually going to change the label that lines configure and we're going to say text is equal to score and then we're going to say plus string score now just to remind you of what that's doing basically what that is doing is that if the lives is greater than zero it's going to update the score label, which is up in the top left hand side of the screen, to being score plus whatever the score is. And this one is going to add, score is going to be score, whatever the score value is, say it's one, plus one. So we can now put this program into the um, alien move. So what we'll do is we will put it uh, just before collision, shall we? So we'll go there and let's run that and see what happens. Now, here's the alien. I'm just going to move my ship right out of the way. Oh, uh oh, we have a problem. It's going up all the time. So, why is that? Basically, we need to put scoring that shows where scoring needs to be if my coordinates are gr greater than 800. So we need to put that in there. So let's put that in there. Now let's run it. Now it's not updating all the time. And we can go past the alien, let the alien come down here. And now score is going up to one and we can watch it go again. and it will change there to two. And you'll see it's doing if lives is greater than three. Now if I actually run up to it at the moment and try and bounce off it, so we'll, we'll try and collide with it. So here we go, here it comes, we'll collide. At the moment, it doesn't change anything here. All it does is push the alien back up there. And of course the score will increase. Here we go, score goes now to four. Okay, so let's change this so that if we collide, the lives left changes. So let's have a look at that. Let's do this within the co um, collision part here. Now, if the collision occurs, so that's when the collision occurs, we print collision in the um, in the screen, but we also um, put up alien coordinates up to 460. 
what we're now going to say is, well, well actually, we want to go back up here and we want to actually refer to the lives which we've already set up. And so here, we are going to say lives equals lives minus one, okay? So what that's going to do is if we collide, it's going to take one life off. But it's not going to display it so far. So let's, uh, let's try this. If lives is less than one, so in other words, it's gone to two, I mean gone to zero, then we want to do something. What do we want to do? We actually want to go lives label dot configure, or in other words, change, text is equal to game over. So we want the program to register that it's game over if the lives goes less than one, okay? And then we want to change that color just for the sake of it. Background is equal to white. And the foreground, or the text color, is equal to red. Okay, so that's going to change that one there. Else, lives label dot configure. text equals lives plus string lives and we want that to be the background is equal to red and the foreground All right, let's run this and see what happens. So at the moment, if the lives is e less than um, zero, it should actually go game over. But if it's not, it'll just change the life. There it is, lives equals two, lives equals one. And there we go, we've got it, so game over. Okay, um, let's have a look at what happens with the score at this point. So the score has stopped because we've actually stopped it. Fantastic, let's have a look. So this thing, let's have a look at here. We're saying if lives is less than one, make it game over. Else, lives is equal to lives... Um, minus one so it's going to change the lives so it's less one now the final thing we want to do is we want to actually have it say game over on the main screen and we want to give it our final score so the way we do that is we um, we're going to create a game over label so we're going to call it game over label Game over equals label. Now you'll notice how I'm doing this after the if it's less than one, then we're going to actually create this label. Okay? And it's going to be in the playground. The text is going to equal to game over. And we want the background equal to red and we want the foreground or the font itself FG equal to white okay so that's going to put the game over label there but at the moment the game over label is only created as an existence it's not inside the actual program so what we want to do is we want to place that so game over dot place and we're going to place it x is equal to 590 so we're going to place it where as 
all the way over here where x is equal to 590 and y is going to be roughly 300 y equals 300 so that will place the game over logo there and what we want is a score score label uh, what are we going to call it final score that's what we'll call it final score is equal to it and I'm just going to grab this label thing here and the text is going to be score and we're going to plus the string of score okay so what this will do is it will add the score whatever it is to there we just need to place that in again final score dot place and where are we going to place it well we're going to place it uh, slightly to x is equal to 595 so we're just going to take it slightly to the right of the score but we're going to put it under so we're going to say x is equal to 340 y equals 340 and let's run this now and see what happens so I'm going to go up and hit this there we go go and hit that there we go so score is game over and score equals zero and we can just move this score ever so slightly to the right by for example going over here and, and x is equal to maybe 605 let's see what happens there run that and there we go. So now our score is kind of directly under the game over and you see the score actually doesn't increase. So score is zero and game over. So this is the final element that we wanted in our game. Uh, the final things are that we could actually use these buttons to actually um, go left and right with the alien. And the way I would do that is using the bind all. Um, so um, see if you can figure that one out itself. Um, so that's your challenge, students, to actually figure out how to use bind all for each one of these. Catch you later.